I have two legal practitioners in the studio and a former member of parliament. And um, former member of parliament for Bantama, Henry Kwabna Kukufu, is here. Good morning to you. Good, mo good morning, Ronnie. Mm. And then also, um, I have another legal practitioner, and Abraham Amaleba uh, is also a member of the NDC. Thanks for joining me, Abraham. Thank you for having mm. me. You're on legal vacation? That's, That's it? so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, and um, I will be going to Sunyane for bar conference. Bar conference. Will September. you be attending? Yeah. And you will be. Yeah. You remember in good standing? Be sure. Okay. Just wanted to know. You, you do know. so yeah, judiciously. I don't, I don't know many lawyers apart from those I see, so it's good that. Uh, but a lot of things have been happening. I don't know. Um, Snit has been having a lot of troubles lately, especially when since the board chairman of the uh, of the trusts mm -hmm. convened the press conference and raised certain issues uh, which had been forwarded to Yoko, more so um, to PricewaterhouseCoopers to investigate. Now lately we're told that um, the one who headed the IT section of the trust has been uh, dismissed because um, allegedly uh, had been in possession uh, by the time of applying the job some fake certificate. More so they had undertaken some investment which is perceived not to inure to the benefit of the ordinary pensioner. Uh, I have to start with you. Yeah, um, good morning once again <coughs> to our cherished viewers, to my senior colleague and to Roland, you and your crew, my people in the Ashanti region and Bantama. The President of the Republic, Leonardo Danque Kufuado, and indeed the leadership of the country. Uh, I wish them well this morning. Yes, uh, Snit and his saga. Um, I've always been congratulating the board chairman now, Dr. Kwame Adokufo, and his uh, membership, uh, including the management as well, for having been. Um, bold enough to take the bull by the horn. We all will recall that years past, uh, SNIT has come under some kind of scrutiny, uh, criticisms, and all kinds of things um, as pertains to value for money for uh, Ghanaian workers who go on pension. Um, whether their contributions are being managed well and properly, uh, invested so the returns are they getting what really uh, is there for them to take. So as far back as 2016 last year uh, we had a report from the National Pension Regulatory Authority uh, which firmly suggested that um, SNIT's inflow, cash inflow may be riding out into negativities by 2019, if measures are not taken to forestall uh, what they perceived to be mismanagement there. Then in the same period, World Bank report also had it that by 2023 or 2036, I'm not too sure of the date, if you do not take care, it's net investment or all water down. So there have been a series of concerns raised both from within and without as to the operations of SNET and its sustainability uh, levels. Uh, people had thought that something needed to be done uh, to the institution. And thanks to God, the change agenda that brought President Kupuado and his government into office continues to blow uh, everywhere. And uh, the stop now is at SNIT. The spotlight is on SNIT. The board members, through legal uh, proceedings and procedure, procedures, have um, instituted uh, uh, or have asked for um, investigations, and Yoko is on it. This uh, gentleman, um, Dr. Inkut Apaglu, uh, has that issue been resolved? I don't think so. It's being resolved. Now, SNIT has a a release that says that they've dismissed him? Based on that, 
based mm. on the mm. certificate. It's been because I've been, I've been, I've of been its position with immediate effect, um, according to the statement, and I'm sure it's before you, yeah. it's currently on interdiction. Evidence made available to the trust indicates that the inverted degrees presented by Dr. Faglo to secure his employment at the trust are fake. Okay, so it is conclusive now. Um, and the same person is involved in the contract. Well, I told that he was managing the system. I was the system, sir. Well, no, he was in charge of making sure decisions were taken on acquisitions, et cetera, because he was the head of IT. Good. Director of finance. Yeah, so, uh, well, the board have taken decisions. And um, the affected individual has always the right to uh, seek redress if he thinks um, he has been uh, shortchanged in the court of law, competent court of law, as it is. But I must, whilst congratulating SNET, I must also ask them to go a little bit further. Only God knows how many people are there within the system or the uh, establishment who might have traversed this along the same route to find themselves in positions of trust. Uh, so, yes, we must be looking at people's qualifications, the authenticity of what they bring on board as per certificates and others. And it is also for other institutions to follow suit and to make sure we get rid of the rot that has permeated through our public service system, indeed some private public uh, private uh, systems throughout the years. And, and, and uh, it does not it does not start it did not start and it's not going to end with the exit of NDC in government. It has been with us time in Moria. We've had institutional weaknesses as a bait uh, to our developmental progression. So we, we should take advantage of the, of the wind blowing now to do proper house cleaning within our sectors, our systems. Dating I believe back. that's what uh, the Kufa led government seem to be doing. Well, that is it. And, mm. and we need to do more and accelerate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Malba, now we have the general manager dismissed, but the concerns, if you tend to read uh, around, uh, is the fact that we seem to be proclaiming people guilty before even doing the investigation uh, in themselves. Because we had a board chairman uh, come to address the media, and subsequently now we have the investigative bodies now going to do fact finding. It's as if uh, we're putting the cart before the horse. Uh, do, what's your thoughts on, on those uh, opinions? So, good morning to your viewers and to my colleague, Okofu. Let's be careful not to bastardize people before the facts are made clear. If you read the story concerning this gentleman, the doctor, the supposed doctor and doctor, <laughs> He has contested most of the allegations made against him. For instance, he says that he was never sat at the Dominion University. He's also said that he was never an employee of Glyco and that he was never sacked at any of his previous employment. This matter of his certificates is a matter that Yoko is investigating, not has investigated, is investigating. And here we are, the board, coming to a firm conclusion that he has faked his results or his certificates. This is a man who has family, wife and children. And if you put out this information and it turns out that it is not true, what have you done to his image? What if it's true? So why do we engage in the realms of if? Can't we wait for the investigation to be concluded? And I think that the Senate boss, uh, board is seeking to score political points so early in the day. There's no need for that. The man said that he has his certificates. They are not fake. What you can do is to allow the investigation to be concluded. On the other matters of um, the Senate engaging in acts that are termed as corrupt deals, 
I welcome any investigation. Mm. I welcome any investigation that seeks to unravel why people are engaged in acts of corruption and whether or not they were actually engaged in acts of corruption. I am not going to sit on national television and protect persons who plunge the nation's resources, be it NDC, MPP. Because if the, gov if the president gives you an appointment, and I'm here to talk about former president Mahama, it behoves you to live above reproach. And so if you go in there and your mindset is to engage in acts of corruption, I think that when the law is dealing, it will deal with you only. And I think that time has come that as a nation, we should not just support people who engage in acts of corruption just because they belong to our political parties. I'm not by this saying that those persons who have been named are corrupt. I am saying that I welcome any investigation. But this investigation should be done in accordance with law. It mustn't be an act of witch hunting. Let's allow the law to work and let's conduct the investigation in such a way as to ensure that we want to get to the bottom of the matter. Beyond that, I do not think that there's much to say about this. Yeah. Yeah, but Roland, a little bit. Um, yes, I agree with my colleague that uh, individuals are made to um, face accountability and poverty when you find yourself in public office. However, uh, he was quick to add that um, SNIT uh, is on, on, on the spree of uh, um, uh, wanting to score political points. And that one, I disagree with him, because there's no political match here. Uh, this is not NDC, MPP, Zaga, nor CPP or anything. It is an institution, a state institution, uh, with a legal entity. It can sue and be sued. And the board has a mandate, as well as the management, to um, not only to manage the police, but also to protect the interests of the Ghanaian uh, public. So if they are taking a decision and you think it is against uh, your human rights or anything of the sort, the courts are there. For redress. I mean, for redress. And if you read carefully, the statement is so um, uh, cate categorical. It says, evidence available. Evidence made available to the trust. So it tells you that the, 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 the action is based on evidence, which they are convinced by themselves. And they know the implication. They know they can I think, be... I think, I, I think what uh, Maliba and, and, the, and those who have varied opinion on mm -hmm. this is not necessarily only because of this, but the actions that have been taken in yeah. many instances, uh, especially uh, all the announcements that have been made about uh, perceived uh, malfeasance or embezzlement or inactions that may have led to some uh, poor judgment in mm -hmm. taking decisions as far as funds are concerned mm -hmm. and the way they are used in mm -hmm. many SOEs, mm -hmm. uh, which have sought to, in the, in the minds of the ordinary man, pronounce people to have done certain wrongs yeah. which contravene regulations. Yeah. Uh, whilst we have not undertaken thorough yeah. investigations yeah. to come to certain conclusions. Yeah. The announcements have been made. We're told that investigations will be made and are ongoing, and people's reputations and names are being maligned in the media. Because once you put out there, with or without any intent, the media runs away with it. Was he generalizing it, or is he, I'm talking about the specificity. Okay. He talked about SNIT. I get your point on this. Yeah, he talked about The other SNIT. point of the discussions mm -hmm. concerning SNIT, and I believe we all have to make a discussion yeah. uh, passionately or dispassionate about this, is uh, that over the years, SNIT has not been making use of contributions of workers adequately. Um, a specific one in point is uh, a visit to one of the uh, investment. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a housing investment mm -hmm. located somewhere in Lashibi. And um, apparently the, the investment that had been made, uh, I'm, I'm told, sum up to about $150 million. Uh, and the, the houses are there, nobody's buying because of the way they are priced. Yes, uh, if, you, if you read further in, in one of the newspapers, um, uh, Mr. Awuni uh, have called for investigation, thorough investigation or probe into 
net investment portfolios. He is of the view that, um, judging from what is coming up, there, there are more to activities of SNET other than fixed certificates and these um, IT procurements and all kinds of things. And rightly, as you said, I mean, you, you, you seem to be in tandem with this thinking. Like, likewise, myself. I know of other investments that are doing so bad. Uh, it will not be fair for me to um, uh, put names out there. But it is true that lots of SNET investments have either gone waste or are going waste or uh, do not have any sustainable uh, um, uh, life to itself. That is why NPRA, NPRA had good reason to caution mm. all of us in 2016. And the pictures you are seeing that there are, are the buildings we're talking about. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and these buildings have been priced uh, just in excess of some 200 and something dollars and some 300 and something thousand dollars. Ah, and as a result of that, uh, they, they, are, they, are all, uh, they are just on the markets and not uh, be, being patronized. Being patronized. Mm. Good. And that is the same reason why we must show concern uh, as a people, as government, and as civil society uh, organization, as stakeholders, pensioners, workers, and all that, <coughs> labor, uh, work, worker labor organizations, and all kinds, as to World Bank reports that says up to 2033, SNET investments will all water down. So it's, 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 it's a thing looking us in the face. It's staring up, uh, us in the face. Exactly. It means we have to do something about it. Exactly. Trust. And that is why it is important that we, we uh, encourage the current board and management to undertake all these things. Being proactive is the best thing to do. And that is what we need across board in all our state SOEs, uh, private institutions, and all kinds of things. Mr. Malaba, how do we make SNIT stronger? Making sure that the contributions are used um, efficiently. You see, this document. You mean the, the media release? The media release is emanating from SNIT. SNIT is an interested party. The matter we are speaking about here is SNIT versus Dr. Afaglu. Are you in court already? So, Dr. Afaglu in court already. If the matter is. is uh, my, my senior colleague is quoting a case. Can you imagine? And, and, oh, yes, and we, we are of, of interest. If you are imagine? in court already... Well, I know that the lawyer imagine? has been speaking to a team. Can you well. imagine? So there's, Can a, you imagine? There, there's a case in court... Lack of, lack of deep thinking. If I say it is between Snit and Dr. Afaglu, and, and you is want, it not right? And this matter, is it not between he and the and, Afaglu? And you want well, to say it's between Snit versus Dr. Afaglu? Uh, who says that uh, you cannot say... You versus me. Yes, As I agree. Have to folk versus court court. Is that what matter? No, it's a lack I, of big thinking. But this is legal issues. We, we're we're talking about who legal issues. Talking about legal issues. All right, yes, of course. Who's going to say that? It's legal. 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 It's in this case, thinking. in this context, lack of deep thinking. It is in this context. This is a matter. It's not yet a court case. So th this, yeah, is a matter, is, 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 this is a matter. This is a matter. This is a legal <laughs> issue. This is a matter. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Think better. This, uh, this, this is a matter uh -huh. between Senate and uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Fagulo. Mm -hmm. This is a statement emanating from one of the parties. Mm -hmm. One of the parties. The parties. One of the parties is false. One of the parties is false. Can you in litigation. Can you rein him One in? of the parties in litigation. Can you rein An him? anticipated litigation. Can you rein him in? So, so then uh, do try your proper deep him. thinking. Try, try and rein him in. Try okay. and do your proper deep thinking. Rein him because in. Because you are, you, are, you are exhibiting shallow thinking here. You, you okay. exhibit. Yes, of course. That's okay. The two languages. You, you yes, of course. Shallow you thinking. <laughs> uh, uh, can, we, can, we, can, we, can, we, can we just use it some... Some rain him, him. rain him. him. What he was talking about. Let's, let, let's talking. sanitize the language. You see? We, 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 we say so, this a, a document emanating from one of the parties. Mm. And if that party comes and say evidence made available to them, why should I take the side of one party, hook, line, and sinker? Why should I, Ibrahim Alba, who knows that. So, so parties, your argument is just giving the benefit of the doubt to the other party. Exactly. You don't crucify the person. And luckily for us in this matter, 
there's an independent body called Shiraj, which is not interested in this. Uh, I say Shiraj, Iyoko, which is not interested in this matter. And the issues are before Iyoko. Iyoko has not yet finished its investigation. And you expect me to believe what Senate is saying? You know the man too is also alleging that because there's a change of government, that is why this is happening? You read his uh, system. And so it is wrong for anybody to conclude that it is actually true that the gentleman has faked his result. I am only uh, asking for caution so that we do not end up having X thrown on our faces because Iyoko has not yet concluded his investigation. All right. Now, but on the issue of... Roland, we need to make a very, a very, the, a very on, important... No, no, on the please, issue note, of please note it. You see, not, not, okay. not on the point. issue of investment, not your point. I think that over the years, SNITS has been engaging in these um, building projects, houses. Uh, the essence was to make those houses affordable to its uh, constituents. These are the pensioners. It's not pensioners. It's pensioners. Children are listening. The word is not pensioners. It's pensioners. Now, if you price a building that you build with the pensioners money, I think for me, it's repugnant. It's above um, reproach. And I think that Senate must reconsider its investment portfolios. Areas that they think would bring quick returns are the areas that they should go in. Because sometimes, even they build the houses, the low cost houses, I'm sure the pensioners can even take it using their investment, their, their uh, savings to just buy the houses. I also think that they must have somebody in there who has the knowledge of the investment market so that they don't engage in investment that are very high risk. Yes, investment in itself is a risk, but you take calculated risk. You don't take risk just for the sake of it. Mm. And so that's the area that I think the uh, uh, Senate should look at. All right, then uh, talking uh, about... Ronnie, yes. but uh, just a quick one. I, I think are you Ronnie? I think... Uh, I'm uh, called Roland. Roland, mm -hmm. yes, but of course, Ronnie, I just want to use... You the want to shut it? Yes, I want okay. to shut it. You I, see, I take it, sir. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we need to make it... Uh, uh, draw the dichotomy between what's going on as, at Senate proper itself, the board, and that of Yoku. There are two separate investigations going. It is the SNIT boss, uh, board that interdicted this young man. SNIT itself interdicted this man. This well, no, nobody's saying anything. Good. So, so the SNIT board but, can, but, but, should but, not but, necessarily but, 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 wait. But, but, but the SNIT management and board, yes. the attention was, was drawn to allegedly to this alleged uh, fake, our alleged fake certification. Yes. Of uh, uh, Mr. Faglo or Dr. Yes. Faglo by Yoko. By Yoko. And so Yoko asked so them to investigate yes, by so themselves. So, 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 so they have done. that inherent in the final report of Yoko, all these things will be noted. Because yes. Yoko but alerted, before then, alerted the management and board of SNIT yes. that you may be having somebody who is heading a critical department, yes. but may not be having the right So the board, the board took up the, the challenge and went on and found evidence. And it's available to them. Yes, but the so board they can go forward and he even ask Yoko to do that by extension on its behalf. Of course, but uh -huh. the board is satisfied uh -huh. with the evidence they have uh -huh. as at now. However they got it, we don't know. We but don't we know. know that they can ask even Yoko to do to that. To do that. So now they have it and they are acting on it. Yes, it might not go down well with anybody. But for my colleague to say it is wrong for the board to conclude at this stage. Well, the board so with this with this, even me, mm -hmm. the board has not given me um, the, 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 the release does not, does not give me any conclusion that it has, apart from what it says, evidence, mm -hmm. it has any other thing contrary mm -hmm. to say that um, the certificate of the gentleman is fake. Yeah. All it says is that the evidence we have yeah. is indicating that 
the certificate of a gentleman is fake and so cannot be in our employ. Exactly. So okay? they, Yes. And uh -huh. it is within but their right they, to do if so. if the young man wants to go and contest as the other party, Good. he can take it up if he exactly. has contrary evidence. Exactly. Or contrary... Exactly. You, so, you, you, you I agree lawyer, with you. So I'm not I, no, you are perfectly right. You are more than a lawyer this morning. So, it gives this issue a potential litig litigation it's already an, uh, a situation of animosity between one party and the other. So it's a legal issue? It could be a potential legal it's issue. No, it's a potential legal issue. Okay. You have got, you are talking about parties here. You are talking about interest here. Mm. You are why talking is it about when Amaliba said versus this one, and then you go? That, that is what I said. <laughs> that, then, you, right. then you ran away no, from we, it we, and we, said we it should, was a sport. We should, we should, we should, we should tell, no, no, no. no. You tell, are saying that tell versus the, is wrong. Uh, GFA. Henceforth, <laughs> stop. You your are pictures. saying that it's wrong. That's don't, right. don't, no, let's let's move not, on. On the front page, imagine. henceforth, <laughs> on GFA, the front page of it's the GFA, it's listening from today. No, no longer versus club oh. versus this. But you see, you used it and the, I, and the I, slit, and slit I, itself. Slit itself. I want us to move on. Yes, last point, a small one. Slit itself. Why we should not jump into conclusion? Slit itself. Well, in paragraph, kind of in, in, in paragraph two says that the trust will collaborate with Iyoko. They themselves. And of course, say they'll collaborate with Yoko. Yeah. What business have they got to be jumping to conclusion? Ah, my brother, uh, let's uh, move on. All right. If you are, if you, if you, if you are, if you are not satisfied, go to court. Uh, you can go to court on his behalf. Let's the last on. couple of days has seen um, some exchange of words mm -hmm. between between uh, a gentleman called A Plus, uh, also jumping into the phrase one Kennedy Japan, who is a member of parliament for Asin Central. Uh, and then, um, as a result, accusing uh, three personalities, uh, um, Samuel Abujinapo, a lawyer and also a deputy chief of staff and also a lawyer and the communications minister and MP, uh, Esla Uso Ekufo, and Francis Asenso Boache, who is a deputy chief of staff for perceived corruption, etc. And apparently we're being told that the CID is probing the three government appointees over bribery allegations. I'm sure you may be following this issue. What, 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 what do you make of it in the first place? Um, myself. Yes, please. Yes. Um, I'm asking you because, you know, it's four squarely uh, in the remit of um, government. Yeah, and it is, and it is, it is a, good, a good thing happening to our systems. So it negates the fact that when somebody else is being investigated, then the, the, the notion is that because, because of regime change, because there's witch hunting, so people are rich hunting um, uh, because of uh, regime change or whatever the case is. It is the cardinal principle of the certain president, President Kufuado, that we will fight corruption at all levels, whether in my government, whether outside government, whether in state institutions, or wherever we get the report. And we have evidence to do so. Allegations have been made. Indeed, uh, a senior um, honorable member of parliament, uh, Kennedy Japan had countless uh, occasions come up with these kinds of allegations. Just last Saturday uh, at Cape Coast, when we met on a delegate conference, the president made it categorically clear that all those who have evidence should come forward because he has instructed the security agencies to undertake thorough investigations into all these things. Such a courageous and well-poised president who want to see corruption fought even within his own uh, enclave. So it's a, it's, it's a positive sign for uh, uh, our democracy. It's, it's, it's a good sign for the fight against corruption. Yes, at the, sa the same way, these young men and uh, the ladies, they, they, are, they are appointees, uh, high-level appointees of uh, government. And their names have been mentioned. Again. The public may, as it were, deem them um, um, guilty until they have proven not to be so, which is unfortunate, and we all must fight against. But at least they have the opportunity to appear before the investigative body. And so let's cross our fingers and wait and see what really happens. So then again, once more, you should give the president the kudos, not for anything, but for the for, for setting uh, the agenda moving. So nobody has the right and should not have the audacity to cry wolf when there are no wolves. You go out there in public service and you are being asked to 
come and account for your stewardship and you, you start crying because of regime change, because my government is not there, because I'm a former president's appointee, that's why I've been hunt, uh, hunt, uh, I mean, uh, hunted. Uh, yeah, hunted here and there. Uh, that one should go away. Yeah, th this is not a pol politics, the political points and so called call things. We want to see corruption dealt with. Those who are found to be culpable, the laws, the rules, uh, the regulations are there to deal with them. Uh, Mr. Maliba, the president living to his word uh, that anybody who is said to be corrupt or allegedly corrupt in his government will be investigated and then if there's the need for prosecution, that will take place. How did we get to this? I thought we were told that the saints, the people who are incorruptible, people who are seen as saints have been voted into power. I thought we were told that this is the most impressive government that Ghana has ever seen. I thought we heard things like that. I thought we heard that, oh, Menado would tend to be, his government would tend to be the most corrupt free government in the history of Ghana. How did we get to this? Six months down the line, we were hearing these things. This is the first time that a government has been brought into power, and just within six months, we are hearing stories of this nature. <laughs> for Abu Junako, I am happy for him that this is happening to him. He was on radio. Mama is corrupt. The most corrupt is the president. You should take the dose and we'll see. A plus, and I'm shocked that we are being told that when A plus attacked the NDC government, did they wait for evidence before they jumped into the bandwagon? When A plus, Kolo Kujeto and Co. corrupt the MPP, Lebanon and Kufado, did they ask A plus to bring evidence before they can jump into the bandwagon? I am happy. I have always said it. If you create a monster to eat your opponent, after it finishes eating your opponent, it will turn to you. And that's what is happening. They themselves, Abronye, or what's his name? Abronye. Yes, whatever it is. <laughs> um, A plus, um, Ajepong, have turned the gun onto themselves. And I'm excited that this is happening. I'm, I must comment um, Ajepong. I'm told yesterday he was able to provide some amount of evidence. It means that he wasn't blowing hot air. I think that the security agencies should follow this through, not to do some wishy-washy thing <laughs> and try to cover up as happened in the boss matter where there were cover-ups and we've not seen anything coming out of it. For me, it is good that now we are seeing the real thieves because we are told that two thieves are in the flag star house. We have been told, these are not my words, two, and the flags are out. Let's see how the competent Akufado was not able to identify that he's going to appoint two tips <laughs> into the flags are out. But now that this matter has come up, I think the police should for once deal with the matter in such a way as to bring confidence in their work. And I think that the coming days, we will see more of this. Because when we're telling the people of this country that the MPP does not portend good for this country, they thought we were lying. Six months, we are seeing this. How can you make such conclusions? That's when the president that, that is, that's has made it clear that when there are allegations, he will make sure he uses his authority and his office, they are investigated. And once the evidence is brought, if that person is guilty, that person will be prosecuted. It shows a mark of, of someone, of a leader who's willing not only to prosecute his own, but to make sure that um, his engine, which is using to drive onto a certain path, 
is free of any impurities as far as the, lubric the lubrication Why is. Why do you people always think that? Which people? <laughs> people like you who speak this way. Why do you think Ooh. that nothing has ever happened in this country until this government came? <laughs> Every president since the Fourth Republic has always asked for evidence. And every president has asked cause for investigation to be to be to be has cause for investigation to be done. Have you forgotten the, the national service matter? Where did it come from? Is it not from the Flagstaff House that President Mahama asked the BNI to go into it and today they are in the distance? There's nothing new about this. I heard people say that the deputy minister resigning is a good thing. That's the first time. Under the NDC, voluntarily, ministers resigned three times. Muntaka resigned, even though they said Chinchanga, nobody proved that he chopped Chinchanga. Um, uh, Aftivo resigned, even though there's nothing to show that he was uh, uh, sure. involved in the, she was involved in the uh, painting of the, the buses. Uh, there was a third one, Komna uh, Donko uh, uh, resigned. Which Hama was sacked. Was sacked. Mm. So it's nothing new. But look, That's why she didn't resign. She, happens there was a reason that she, was, she had been relieved of her position. If anything happens to the MPP, then the president gets that that is the best thing that has ever happened. I'm saying that what Nana Akufado is talking today, is what previous presidents have spoken about. The fight against corruption is comprehensive. No president comes into office with a mindset that I'm going to let my ministers get in, into acts of corruption. It is the ministers themselves. When Good. they appoint you, 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 you must rise above reproach. Good. So yeah. there's nothing I think, I think the last... You know, our elders always say, we have a problem. From what you want to want, they said that uh, you don't wash your dirty linen in public. Now, for these individuals, A+, plus, Kennedy, Japan, to come out and make some of these statements categorical as they are, it means that they, ha they, they, they may have been having it to the roofs. Uh, they're just being choked to the brim. Uh, they, they, they couldn't vent out anywhere, any, anywhere and there's, there was no platform, no space, except in the public uh, gallery. Do you remember Honorable Martin Amidu? Who, who is he? Ah, a former Attorney, Attorney General, General yes, Minister yes, of yes. Justice. And um, a former, he's a, a former, citizen vigilante. Yeah, in this a former vice uh, presidential candidate of NDC. Yes, uh, he, he was bold enough to come out of from his own to vent out some of these uh, misgivings and all that. So it means that it's also been replicated in this region? No. You see, we've seen some kind of um, uh, governance levels where we, we do not, we, we do not, always have to cover one the other. Mm. At, at and this Abraham is saying this has always happened. It's not extraordinary. He, he, he decided to make a case out of it. And he said, people speaking like you, I don't know why the attack, where the attack is coming from. But I don't know. People speak like him, is it an attack? People who speak like me, is it an attack? Don't yeah. people speak like me? Well, he was shocked. He, he was shocked. That's why. Because he was I, shocked not because it was an attack. He was shocked that I say people speak like me. You get surprised and shocked when... It's okay. No savo. No savo. <laughs> <laughs> so, no savo from the two of you. Okay. So, so you see, the point I'm putting out there is, at this stage, it remains allegations. Investigations are ongoing. And uh, I, under I understand the Honorable Member of Parliament has provided some evidence. We are hoping that uh, A-plus will also go with this evidence and all that. And if after the investigation there is a need for prosecution, then the matter gets to court. Even at that stage, they are still presumed to be innocent until pronounced guilty by a court of competent jurisdiction. But as we have been always saying, the court of public opinion are quick to judge. And, and um, if I remember Dr. Kwabna um, Dofo, uh, he made a statement. Uh, if I may, I may paraphrase. He says, um, at the court of public opinion, the, the, the falsehood is always the winner, the first to win. And then, but eventually, the truth uh, wins uh, in the final stage. So let us wait and see. But we will have all had to congratulate ourselves, the president, and the system that we are building a society where we are prepared to own out our own if there's a perceived... So if I'm saying it's always happened? Yes, so, so we, it's okay. a continuum and we, we... So why is it that when it was happening, you said it shows an act of uh, corruption and etc. Isn't it or rather it shows uh, a strength to fight corruption within yourself? It's like what, the way you're touting it. No, 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 no. When public, when public uh, funds are being dissipated, 
in a manner that it could have been stopped. But you look on unconcerned. So you're saying that the incidents, though, the, pre, the, uh, yeah. the, the, the previous events that have been reported mm. are different from what we Exactly. Hear. Okay, if we exactly. have to go to the substances, and yes. I don't want us to go to yes. the allegations that mm. even before you see the president, you yeah. have to pay monies. Uh -huh. Do you yeah. understand? And those that? allegations are to be proven. Perfectly. I mean, yeah, just like the way the previous one. I just the want to put the those... Previous one, the all previous right, one. All right, all right. All right. It's just okay. So you, you, you are not saying that the allegations that you leveled when you were campaigning, were they, they were more sacrosanct and these ones are... These ones are... Well, 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 it involved right. so direct on the front public page of the Ghanaian Times. Directly. On the front page public of the Ghanaian Times, directly. we have a story that says apparently the IMF has extended Ghana's program for a year. And it, of course, it's giving thumbs up to the economy. But if you read that, uh, it says that it's rather government that is saying that it wants to extend for a year. Ibrahim, uh, let's look at this. Um, we went into this IMF program. And I believe that the phrase we use was to gain, is it policy credibility? Yeah. Now we are where we are currently. Um, it just uh, broke the close of the news day yesterday. That apparently, um, we're extending it to 2019. What do you make of it? You see, I'm shaking my head. I'm shaking my head. If you need Panadol, I can bring you one. <laughs> I will need it. When we entered into this program, what did these people say? For God's sake. Which people? I'm just... These MPP people. <laughs> what did they tell the people of Ghana? That we have taken Ghana into IMF, and that's why there's, um, there's going to be withdrawal of uh, employees. People are going to be sacked. Eventually, they said, when they come, they'll take Ghana off from the IMF. Today, what are you reading? 419. You tell the people one thing, you've gotten their um, votes, you've come to power, and you're doing something else. If this continues to happen, this is your cameraman will see politicians as liars and will not have confidence in politicians. This should not continue. If you Preach to the people a certain stand. You are enjoined to take the people seriously. Going to IMF was seen as a bad omen for this country. Now, is it whether the whale swallows who or who? Now they are saying they have excellent. IMF said they too have excellent. Okay, the saying is that uh, you don't know whether the whale swallowed Jonah or Jonah swallowed the whale. The whale, which or ever. Now, IMF said they have extended it. Government said they have extended it. But at the end of the day, there's an extension. So that's what I would say. The people of Ghana are <coughs> seeing what is happening. That's the way I would say uh, Roland, it's, it's, it's as simple as ABC. How did we get there? I mean, how did we get to IMF and all these things? It borders on the management of the economy, the fundamental basis. We reached a point where NDC was in government that there was no briefing space for the government to operate and for the, for the economy to grow further. Investor confidence was almost getting to zero. So the only avenue, the only avenue, and you rightly said, they ran to IMF to seek fiscal policy credibility. That was the reason given to us by the then president. So they run to IMF. And yes, we have criticized so having going to IMF. Well, it's the same reason. It means that the Kufado led government also won fiscal credibility. No, no I'm, I'm credibility. coming. I'm, I'm, I'm building up. We, because we had earlier on warned them, through Dr. Baumia and other uh, renowned economists, that the way you run in the economy, you will land us in, in a situation where we might find ourselves in, in IMF uh, um, uh, deals. So we have the potential to run effective economy, the system, so we can avoid that pitfalls. They did not heed to good reason and, and, and uh, economic wisdom. They went ahead. You remember the uh, uh, president, former president J.J. Rollins had a cause to say that the nation is being driven straight into um, a ditch. So they, they, they kept on and kept on until we arrived at INF. And yes, we used it. We said. 
that we shouldn't have been here, there, but you plunged us in there. We come into power seven months. Because of the, the, the negative effect, the devastating effect caused to the economy, is so ailing that pulling out of the, the program wouldn't be the prudent thing to do now. So we will have to extend and then make sure the right things are done, the, 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 the right mechanisms are put in place, the fiscal policies begin to manifest. Uh, manifest. Then we can pull out effectively and continue with the running of things by ourselves. You have caused the damage. We have come in to do the repairs. You should be thankful and shut up and listen to and see us run the system that you have so devastated. Ghanaians want better and they know what they want. So you think we are, we've extended IMF, and so we, we, what is it? We, we said one thing, and we are doing another thing. You did so bad by running the economy down. Well, the president, uh, when he met the press recently, yes. even swore uh, that uh, there's no way his government mm -hmm. is going to extend this. Because just like the rhetoric was during the electioneering of yeah. the campaign, yeah. it was not going to be extended even with him. He even had the difficulty... Uh, exactly, yes. Even exactly. the, the period, because it was supposed to have been April, mm -hmm. and now, uh, uh, well, it went to December, we're told. Mm -hmm. And now it's even gone to the other year. Yeah, the, the, the surgeon will take you to the uh, surgical care. Because we're not even talking about next year, we're talking about the other year. The surgeon would have done everything, diagnosed everything, would take you on to the surgical tier, open up the, the, the place, and will now recognize that what had been thought to be uh, the ailing uh, organ is even more devastating. He might have planned to use two hours to do the surgeon, but contingent... Knowing that the state of the body is not as he, he thought it was. Exactly. So there's so the need, to, there's the need the to extend surgery the time. surgery time. <laughs> and it's ethical. It's ethical. I, lo I love this allusion. It's mind boggling that the whole president did not even know when oh. we were going to quit from the IMF. Is it been mind boggling? It had to take his finance minister to do a 360 degrees turn about to try to uh, 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 correct the gaff that the president engaged himself in. So after all, from what he said, after all, the NDC was right. As By going to the IMF, because you, are scaling it. Because you stopped, now, the point is this. Because you spoiled the economy. You say that we have uh, spoiled the economy. Yeah. And that when, when we're leaving, our debt was 126 million. Run it around. 127 million. Or a billion. 122 billion. Billion cities. Today, as we speak, it's 137 mm -hmm. billion. Mm -hmm. These are people who said oh. when they come, they were not going to borrow. Oh. And they are borrowing left, right, center. Mm. Look, have you noticed that everything that the MPP promised when they were in the budget, they are doing it upside down? Oh. Even free education. Like it's that. coming. Eh? It's coming. Yeah, That's true. In yes. three weeks. Yeah. Free SHS. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. coming. Now going to first year. Let me finish. It's coming. Free SHS is now called one district, free, one factory. Free first year SHS. Oh God. It's not free HSS. So everybody. So you are. It's free first year SHS. And yet. So you want to. You want, you want this, to. You want to put first year there. They felt that when the MPP come, they were going to have free SHS. Parents whose work were second and third year. I'm saying that, check. Everything that they said they were going to do, they have modified one way or other. Look at the uh, 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 teacher's uh, uh, allowance. Mm -hmm. If you say you are going to restore, mm -hmm. it means that what was taken away is the same thing. Pe -pe 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 -pe, they will go put up. Yes. Now, what are we seeing? What are you seeing? Tell us. The teachers were paid for a whole year, 12 months. Now, they are going to be paid for eight months. I am saying that everything they have said, bring one thing, and I'll tell you how they have modified. And that's not fair. That's not good for the people of this country. But the people of Ghana are seeing. They have seen the, the difference. Ronnie. Roland. Roland. Ronnie is a footballer. Roland, will you continue to deal fairly with the people of Ghana? You have spoiled the system. And you are repairing it. And we are repairing it. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, Two so the, the surgeons...
led by the chief surgeon Nanado Danko Kufado, who is the president yeah. of the Republic of Ghana. Sure. Is that is that not? Yeah, the All economic right. surgeon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, so we have been in the studio with uh, Henry Kwabna Kukufu, who is a legal practitioner, former member of Parliament for Bantama, and also uh, also being with us is um, Abraham Amaleba, another legal practitioner, member of the NDC. And thanks for joining me, Abraham. Yeah, he says we shouldn't use verses again. Apart from court, so GMP, don't use verses to wear your keys. <laughs>